Hey guys, this is Ruti Peruti from Team Life Invader and welcome to the first ever training video. Throughout this training, I, we will show you how to access your PDA, edit ads, and choose the correct category for each ad. As well as some other functions that will help us with editing ads on our email. So let's start. By joining an organization, you now have access to your J muscle. So if we go ahead and flex your J muscle, we will see two options. First option being the PDA and the second one being the drone. So let's go into the PDA for now. Upon opening the PDA, you will see um, this environment. In this environment, uh, you'll see a few sections. So the left section right here is where you'll see all the unfiltered ads that uh, come to us uh, straight from the citizens of Los Santos. So these are the ads that we need to edit and send out. The middle section over here is the ready for publication section where finished ads will pop up here and will automatically be sent out to the public. The bottom section here is the top 10 employees of the week. This is where you can see your colleagues doing ads and how much they've done over uh, the period of one week. Uh, this right section over here is where you can see the total number of ads that have been edited by you since you joined and the amount of edits you do uh, per week or per that week. You can also see how many employees are online and how many are engaged in editing. The top right section is not important as of now but we will do we will discuss it with you guys later. So to start editing an ad, simply click on the on the pen and it should open this pop-up. On this pop-up, you will see a few um, information. So first of all, you'll notice that you will have the sender's name as well as their phone number that they sent the ad from. This will be used for this will be useful later on to blacklist person if they send inappropriate ads or to reach out to them if they need to create a new template with us and down here it will say add text this is basically the original text that has been sent by the sender so now let's look at the ad itself so this person says selling seeds for 1500 per seed so let's try and break this down Throughout an ad, you will see three sections. The first section being uh, selling. So this section actually can be selling or buying. That's up to the customer or the sender to um, specify. In the second section, we have uh, the item or uh, yeah, the item that the sender wants uh, to buy or sell. In our case, it's seeds. And the third section and the last section is uh, the amount that the sender wants or uh, wants to buy basically the price or the budget of that item so in our case it's going to be 1500 however he did not specify um, he did not put a dollar sign or anything so that's fine we will deal with this so let's go ahead and edit this ad so first of all we will capitalize S in selling and we will keep seeds at at it is as it is we'll put a full stop and then we'll say um price capital p we leave a colon we delete for because we don't need that we put a dollar sign in front of the price and we separate three digits with a full stop and because this person did mention per seed, so we leave, we uh, change it into this each. There we go. So this edit is, this ad is now, as uh, this ad has now been edited by us. So it says selling seeds, full stop price, uh, 1.5 thousand each. You click next, it disappears, but don't you panic. It's right here on the left side so you can choose your category and uh, for this one actually we'll choose other because it does not fit into any other category for now so let's go ahead and click other and then click the green arrow for it to be posted there we go okay let's do this ad so this is actually some uh, 
Adidas pants. So we're gonna fix this. So buying, buying any. Um, we don't need to mention this as it's not that significant because he's already, you know, looking for women's Adidas pants. So they'll just contact him. So this is actually fine. So buying women's Adidas. Adidas is a brand, and that's why we need to capitalize the first letter. So buying Adidas pants. And then budget, because he said buying. Budget, colon, 1.1 million. So we put the dollar sign. And of course, we change mail to million. There we go. And you can always check the spelling uh, by opening your web browser and uh, you know searching about it especially for cars because some cars um could be in the wrong spelling or don't even exist in the city so we're just gonna have to check with that buying women's adidas pants budget 1.1 million there we go and of course this goes under the other category so under the other other category we will see clothes um shops which are actually beach shops not to be confused with stores as well as um seeds and uh, fishing rods and uh, pickaxes so that's how it is so let's go ahead and click and there we go so this one says selling mazda rx7 so how do we do car ads or for the auto um section uh, category so let's capitalize S and then the vehicle over here is the Mazda RX-7 so let's um, put quotations around the car's name and we only put quotations around the vehicle's name so be it a car, a boat, a plane or even bikes um, and we always capitalize the brand and the model which is RX in this case it's an rx7 so you just put a small dash between the rx and the 7. so now this person says what the car contains so he says it's in partial configuration uh, only and that is actually the correct way to say it so in partial configuration full stop price but in capital colon and because he said negotiable so we're just going to leave it at that and if they actually don't uh, if the sender does not mention uh, the price we always put negotiable if the sender doesn't mention the price or the budget let's go ahead and send this out of course you can see it right here and you can also edit it here if you want but i would not recommend that because sometimes um it messes up so i'm just gonna go ahead and click auto that's the right category and send it out there we go so let's next show you how to reject an ad so when do we reject an ad we basically reject an ad when we have inappropriate ads um or uh, ads that are to um uh has less uh, meaning so like they would not mention if it's buying or selling or the product or such things so let's go ahead and reject this ad because it's all in capital we can fix this we can so if we want to fix this we can do all uh, flexor control and a button to select all and you can actually delete it and start over again but we're gonna go ahead and reject this so go next Click next to reject basically and then you choose the red cross so now that we're in this um window it will say specify the reason you want to reject the ad and we cannot say something like um you suck or something like that we have to be a professional so we're gonna say ad is in all caps and reject there we go so this ad says juice shop number 157 above vinewood uh vinewood sign offers the lowest price in the state 
come and get your boost. So we're going to go ahead actually into Discord. And we're going to scroll down a bit and see this. The ads template. So this is where all the templates are located. So let's just look at this again. Juice shop number 157. So let's locate juice shop 157. 157. There we go. So this person has two ads. Cheapest price in the city and looking for fresh juices at discount prices. So let's just go ahead and look at it again. Diamond Hill offers the lowest price. So this person actually just sent an ad which doesn't um, exist in our template. So I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, reject this because it does not belong in our templates and the person needs to reach us and create a new template. So specify reason, template not found. Please contact Eli on email to create a new template. There we go. And go ahead and reject. So now we actually have an apartment or a real estate ad. So let's do this one. That says looking for cheap apartment. So we're going to just change it. To buying an apartment and he said and we do need to be careful about this so the sender did say buying but he says price and no that is a big no-no because we need to put budget there we go and negotiable as it is there we go. and always put the full stop at the very end now we're done just click next you can verify again over here with your ad buying an apartment budget negotiable is the correct category which is real estate and then send it out so actually let's go ahead and do another selling um house ad so let's click on this one and this person says selling house 67 so that's actually the number of the house so let's go ahead and edit that so we're gonna go ahead and make the capital uh, s capital again the house is here so now we're going to need the, a special symbol actually to represent the house number. So I'm going to go over to Discord. Um, and actually, it's uh, you can take it from ads template so or even uh, the other ones because you will find this in nearly any um, any category of the templates, any channel of the templates. So we're going to go ahead and copy this, go back and just paste it there we go so selling house number 667 didn't mention the price so we just need to do that price colon 3.8 mil so we're gonna of course we're gonna put the dollar sign in front paste this out so i wanted to uh, i just want to talk about this so this guy said mil so mil we do not do that however so one of uh one of the ways we can uh, put down the price is like this. So 3.8 million. There we go. Or if you don't like this and you feel it's cluttered, you can also do this. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and click next now that we're done. Setting house number 667, price 3.8 million. Real estate and boom. There we go. All right, let's do this why not so um these type of ads come under dating so we're looking for people so this one says looking for london scammer so how can we find him so to find him we actually go over to discord we go over to grand roleplay the official um discord the main one go over to chat because that's where most people are. Go ahead and search for London Scammer. And 
this is in our policy so we do have to go over to grand roleplay because this is our database and everyone should be here so if we do not find him just like we did here even though he's mentioned here we cannot accept this ad so we're gonna go ahead and reject this and say person not found in our database there we go reject and uh, I do wanna, I do want to explain to you what comes under dating. So, under the da dating category, you would see looking for a date, looking for um, a specific person, or a lawyer. And more of this is actually covered in the policy itself. So this one over here actually says looking for a date. So let's go over and do this. So this is actually fine is fine as it is but however if they do say looking for girl uh, friend or boy friend then these are to be changed to just looking for a date so that's how we do looking for so we can also have looking for a wife a husband there we go those are the type of ads that are allowed on um, looking for ads or uh, the dating category basically so let's just go ahead and do this capital L and full stop at the end looking for a date there we go and dating category and send out and let's do this one so this person is searching for a specific person so Kevin Kielbar so as we said we go over to our discord grand RP chat and look for the person so Kevin uh kill bar i suppose keel bar kevin keel bar so keel bar uh, so unfortunately we cannot find him over here so we're gonna go ahead and reject it so however you, so if you do not per find the person on the grand rp you can ask around so i'm just gonna leave this for now because maybe someone knows this person so i can always come up and uh in radio can i can say does anyone know kevin deal bar there we go so actually i want to discuss this too so let's say you receive an ad and you don't know what to do with it or um anytime you receive an ad there are three options or uh, more so the first option is if you know it and uh, people are actually replying to me but all of our colleagues are replying to me so when you receive an ad uh, you can either accept it if you know how to do it if you don't know how to do it you can leave it as i just did and you can also ask questions to your colleagues your colleagues will always be there for you they can always ask them questions and by joining the organization you will have radio which is in character and non-rp radio which is out of character so OC and IC. And to do work ads, it actually says most of them are about construction work or even uh, looking for a job. Um, adverts or uh, advertisements. So this person over here said in search for construction workers. So we're going to change this to hiring workers there we go we can go ahead and this should be under work but this person actually didn't mention which um, construction site he is in but you can always refer to them actually over here uh, under rules for ads it will all be here so normally it would be hiring workers at construction site number one comma the location basically so that's how it's supposed to be or uh, ads like hiring drivers with three years of ex uh, experience at construction site number four and you always uh, mention the place and then you can also add awarding bonuses if you want to so let's just go ahead and post this under work because he's looking for workers looking to work as a driver this goes under work 
There you go. You can post that. Alright, now let's look at some uh, business ads. So, this one right here. So this one says, selling juice shop near stadium. So, let's just change this into business. There you go. So, selling juice shop business near stadium. Um, stadium capital. There you go. So it's a location. Place. And then we put price, 50 million. There you go. And then we click next. And this does go under businesses. So it's, uh, you know, because it's selling a business, just shop business. So selling just your business near a stadium, price 50 million. This is, and there you go. Done. So let's try and find this ad. So just shop near uh, number 165, nearby, nearby to jail right now, a 50% discount. So let's go ahead and try and find a template for this. So just shop 165 near the is now. There we go. So this actually has a template as we can see right here. It might be a bit different, but that is uh, exactly what they mean by it. So just shop number 165 near DOC, which is Department of Correction, which is where the jail is. Now offering 50% discount all day long. So let's go over here and copy. I mean, control alt. Uh, control A to select all and then control V to post it. Paste. Alright, there you go. So click next. And so this is where I want to just uh, talk about something. So we have services over here, the category services and discounts. So what's the difference? Both of these are basically for templates. But however, um, we only choose discounts when the sender specifically uh, mentions a particular discount. So in this case, it's a 50% discount on uh, this juice shop. So when they specify 50%, 25% or whatever discount on the actual shop, that's when we post it under discounts. However, uh, otherwise, it would be under services. So let's go ahead and send that out. There you go hope you enjoyed this tutorial and also i'd just like to say a few uh, notes uh, by joining life invader we do value quality over quantity and we do want to see quality ads and also by joining life invader if you do come to this building please do not park down there as these parkings are for li vehicles only and the vehicles in red so do not park there instead what you can do is go around the building and park your car over there all of this space is for your car to be parked and it is a green zone so you can do that there well with that being said thank you guys so much this has been the first tutorial ever and uh, hopefully we will see you soon happy training thank you